What's up guys, Johnny here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I want to introduce you to one of my latest purchases. I've had it for about a week. It's my hobby within my hobby and it's the Model Price Maker Select version 2.1. Let's check it out. Recently I put together the X210 build which I made a video about here and one of the things that I felt like I was missing at the time was a GoPro session mount. Um, so I started looking online, I found someone who's willing to print one out for me. Um, I gave him the, the sample to print, he got it printed and gave it to me. Um, it took a little bit of time, I paid you know a reasonable price for it, and in the end, it didn't actually fit my quad. Um, and it was entirely my fault, it turned out I had the V+, Plus, not the regular version, and the V+, Plus didn't have the same way to mount as the old one, um, and therefore it just didn't fit. So anyway, while I was kind of waiting for that to show up, I realized, you know, I'm paying $13, $14 for a mount, and it seems like there's really inexpensive 3D printers out there now. Um, maybe it's worth checking out having my own and being able to print my own kind of whenever I need it. Um, being able to replace them if I need them. Um, given the price point, it, it seemed like it was worth a shot. And anyway, I came across the, the Monoprice brands, which, you know, basically remakes of other brands, but they offer a capable 3D printer at a somewhat reasonable price. Um, I went up selecting the uh, Monoprice Select V 2.1 primarily because the price was pretty low. I think I paid $317 for it. Um, it was a full featured i3 based machine based on open source designs which I really like. Um, and it has a huge community between the other clones, you know, the Wanhao i3 which is what it's actually a clone of. Um, I figured it would be something I could grow with expand, build upon. There was also a Monoprice Maker Select Plus, um, but that cost another $80 and it was only minor upgrades over the V2 and I figured there were things I was probably going to upgrade on my own anyway. So might as well save that money, put it towards upgrades later and try it out. You can probably hear that printer going right now. It's just been printing non-stop. I just love what this thing can do. It's just so amazing to me that I can print things out, you know, that come out of my mind. Um, as you can probably tell by the fact that I have this YouTube channel and, you know, I could tell you from past experience too, I love tinkering and making things. Um, I love to play around, see how things work, build upon it. That's one of the things that got me into FPV flying is I could build the quads first, which I absolutely love to do, and then I can go and fly, which I absolutely love to do. It kind of combines two pieces together. And anyway, as others have probably seen, there's a lot of need for custom designed pieces, 3D printed pieces and designs of quads, so I felt like they went hand in hand. So anyway, I wound up getting some TPU, which is kind of what the standard is to print for mini quads. I actually printed a GoPro session mount, which again, I plan to use on my X210, but again, this one doesn't mount either because it was another mount for the, the old version, not the V+. So anyway, I can go ahead and take care of that. I can actually modify this design and make it support the V+, now. Um, that just kind of blows my mind. Um, I picked up a program kind of highly recommended by some others, which is Fusion 360. And Fusion 360 is really amazing to me. Uh, I don't really have experience with CAD software um, anywhere else. I, I haven't used a CAD program before. I had heard lots of people using a program called SketchUp. I tried to open that. I didn't know what I was doing. I just said, this is probably not the program for me. I don't know if I want to keep investing time in this. And someone recommended Fusion 360. What was amazing to me with Fusion 360 is, again, it was pretty confusing using it at first just because I didn't have a background in CAD, but within an hour I started to learn what things were. I started to figure out what a sketch was and what it meant to extrude a sketch and make 3D objects out of 2D drawings. And I immediately started to see how it becomes real powerful. I started learning about creating offsets of designs and doing fillets or, you know, rounded edges and making something pretty. And one thing I was really interested in is I wanted to know could I make a custom case for the Hellwooper. So we did the Hellwooper video which I just absolutely love, but I kind of wanted a case that I can keep it contained, maybe with some batteries, um, go out and have, some, have a good time. So my first day using that program, the Fusion 360, I wound up designing this. Um, you can see here it has the VH on it for the Van Haas designs. Um, this is my very first print using PETG, which has not gone so well for me. Um, but I'm still kind of learning how to do that. And anyway, I was able to create this box, create a bottom, create a top. Um, inside the bottom of the frame, I actually modeled the quad right here. And then I created an offset cutout inside of the box that basically fits that quad perfectly. 
So when I put it in, it just slides in a little notch and it stays pretty secure. Um, I do plan on building something on top at some point, maybe as an insert. But the fact that in a day I could design this from scratch with no previous CAD experience and then print it out myself in my home on my own 3D printer just blows my mind. It's just absolutely amazing to me. It's just too cool. So another thing that was really cool is um, I, I started printing with uh, PLA and I started printing you know little trinkets and little test things. I started printing the standard 3D Benchy. Um, and it wasn't perfect, you know, I don't expect this printer to be perfect, but, you know, it still came out pretty well. So, the little Benchy has a few little marks, it's not quite the perfect extrusion, um, it's not quite the perfect sides or exteriors, but, you know, overall it was actually pretty good. The bottom layer is pretty good once I figured out how to level everything. Um, and, you know, I was pretty happy with this. I figured I'll make some improvements, um, I'll use this as my original reference, what it started like, and as I add improvements, I'll keep printing these out and see how it changes over time. Did this improvement make a difference? Did that one make a difference? I guess we'll see. Um, one thing I actually really like too is these little baby dragons. I just think they're really cute. I've been printing off a bunch of them. Um, I've been using them at work just as almost like little trinkets depending on what people do. Um, not really as a war, it actually is a, is a bad thing. Uh, kind of we're saying, you know, there'd be dragons here. Someone did something they shouldn't have, so we get a little baby dragon. Um, but they're just really cool. It makes a little bit of fun things at work and you know for 20 cents of plastic It's nice to have a little bit of enjoyment out of it. But yeah, I've learned PLA is actually really simple to print with I pretty much had no problem setting it up in Cura printing it out having reasonable results um, Since then I started using this material PETG Which I guess is kind of the thing to use instead of ABS it's supposed to be as easy to print as PLA and so far that has not been my experience I've been having all sorts of printing issues. Um, at first I thought it was because I was having a hard time pulling the, the thicker, um, the more stiff PETG through the extruder. And you know now I'm not so sure that's what the problem was. So the little uh, piece of plastic here that comes with the printer that the spool kind of sits on, um, by default is actually too small for the PETG rolls that I had. And I was thinking what was happening is that was causing too much tension on the roll, it couldn't spin properly, and therefore the prints are coming out poor. Um, so what I ended up doing is I actually found a way to print out my own thing out of PLA, which is a little bit bigger, that fit the spool no problem. So to me, it just blows my mind that I'm able to use a 3D printer to print parts for the 3D printer that make itself better. It's just amazing. It's like this self-replicating machine of improvement. It's just too cool if you ask me. So anyway, I'm using that. Uh, custom printed model now it hasn't really helped entirely it's helped a little bit um, but I think the thing that's missing is this still feels like a smoother plastic maybe that's keeping it from uh, rolling a little bit better maybe I gotta try another rolling device I'll keep making improvements I'll keep digging into it we'll, we'll see how it goes anyways I just want to share that uh, with you guys as we go on this channel I plan on introducing more and more information about that 3d printer and really because it goes hand in hand with the mini quads right it goes hand in hand with FPV um, I already printed practical things that I'm using already today. Um, I printed my gimbal protectors for my Tyrannus, which are working fantastic. It was extremely easy to print. It keeps it just exactly how I want it. It's really amazing to me. Um, and at only $300, I feel like it'll pay for itself relatively quickly. Um, but if not, I just love learning things, tinkering, um, expanding this machine, learning how to design things and creating. I love creating. Um, you know, really putting my heart into something and then seeing something tangible come out of it. Again, it's, it's just like how I like making these videos. I work really hard on them and then I make something and it's out there. It's just, it's awesome. I love it. Um, so anyway, I'm going to leave it right there for you guys. Plan to see more about this printer. If you guys have questions for me, feel free to ask. I'd love to answer them. Um, I've only had it for about a week, but I definitely plan on going deep into this printer and really getting my hands dirty. So anyway, guys, I'll catch y'all next time. Peace. Ha <laughs> ha.